Good morning, important nonsense fans. Welcome to 5.15 in the morning in Ipswich, and I'm off to the Belgian Grand Prix. I've got a train to London, then an underground to St Pancras, and then Eurostar to Brussels. Looking forward to it. Welcome to Brussels. Let's go exploring. Here's the Grand Palace. Bit of the Berlin Wall, European Parliament building. But let's not get bogged down in Brexit, eh? I seem to have stumbled into some kind of celebration. So I booked this trip through Thomas Cook. It's a three night trip to get half a day in Brussels exploring, which I've done. I'm now going to go back to the hotel, get checked in, and I'll see you in the morning for qualifying day, fans. Qualifying day. So I'm up early, I'm going to attempt to go and get some breakfast with about a thousand other Brits in this hotel. Then it's a coach ride to the circuit for Saturday. I'm looking forward to it, it should be fun. Well we're here, it's very pretty here. Bit of a walk to the circuit and then we'll be in. Gorgeous day. Well I'm in. I'm going to show you some of the corners so you can make up your own mind. I'm at the source at the moment. You can also see the paddock over there. Welcome to the fan zone. Hopefully you can see Eau Rouge behind me. I'd never realized how steep this corner was. My goodness. I'm now walking up Eau Rouge. Oh, steep. My goodness, this hill. This is the Kemmel Strait. If you've got general admission tickets like me, this is a very good place to watch from. It's not too crowded and you get a great view. I found a grandstand you can sit in in bronze. It's just after Lake Com. Little short straight, you get quite a good view. These Poms freaks with mayonnaise. As they say in Pulp Fiction, they drown him in that stuff. This is an excellent spot for bronze ticket holders. So this is Puon. There's a huge corner you can sit on, a huge hill. It's very crowded, so I'm at the back. It's a good spot for bronze tickets. And yes, it really is called Pouan. A couple of tips for you for Belgium. There's about four stands that are Verstappen only stands. So you have to have a special orange ticket to get in, which I ain't got. Second of all, they operate a very strange system for food and drink. You buy tokens. So you get in, you pay 35 euros and you get 10 tokens. And a drink costs like one token. Some Poms Freaks with mayo cost two tokens. I don't know why. Maybe too many stalls were on the take. Another thing is make sure you wear comfortable shoes. Because you are basically in a forest. There's a lot of uneven ground, but it's beautiful here. So I think I've found a bit of a hidden gem here. I'm at the bus stop chicane, I'm high up in the forest and the trees. I've got a big screen and the chicane in front of me. And it's time for the first practice session. <laughs> Hamilton has crashed in rather dramatic style. Free practice three finished, the Ferraris look quick. It's qualifying time. in front of us sleeping on top of the toilets and everyone's throwing things at him to try and wake him up.
Poor guy. I don't know whether I find it funny or not. Qualifying's all done. Charles Leclerc on pole position. Good news. Hope he wins tomorrow. People will sit anywhere around this circuit to get a good spot. It's amazing. Well, I was going to go to the fan zone, but look at the queue. Maybe not, eh? You'll notice that filming ended quite abruptly today. Uh, unfortunately, after qualifying, there was a Formula 2 race and uh, a 22-year-old driver called Antoine Hubert crashed early in the race. Unfortunately, about an hour after the race, it was pronounced that he'd uh, been killed. I didn't find this out until I got back on the bus to come back to the hotel. It was announced at about 6.30. As you can imagine, there's a very, very sad feeling on the bus. It's a bit of an eerie feeling because as I was walking back to the bus, I actually saw the wreckage of the accident and uh, it looked really bad then. So it kind of casts a bit of a shadow over today. It was sad to be at the event that it happened. Now, I haven't heard about the race being cancelled or anything tomorrow. So I'll get up in the morning, we'll go to the circuit. I imagine there's going to be a sad atmosphere around the circuit with everyone. And uh, yeah, let's see what race day brings. Thanks guys. Morning, race day. Still a weird atmosphere. A lot of people at breakfast talking about the accident. So I'm now going to go and get on the coach, see what kind of atmosphere is at the Formula One today. This is how popular Verstappen is here. He's got his own shop here. There's an amazing view of Eau Rouge here. So on the on the wheel, yeah. There's an Ayrton Senna helmet over here. Well, I've found my spot for the race. It's along the Camel Strait. I've got a big screen. And it's just after Eau Rouge. Should be a good view. Sitting on this giant hill with many thousands of people. Good old spa weather being predictably unpredictable. Here comes the track parade. to my buddies on the train, I spot them. Race time! Last lap, it's a nail buyer. Charles Leclerc wins his first race. Good news! Come on, you can do it, darling. Well, I'm now on the track. Let's go see what we can find. Charles Leclerc with his first ever win today. He was close friends with Hubert, who got killed yesterday. So he's going to be an emotional chap. So this is uh, Verstappen's car that they're recovering at the end of the race. Poor Verstappen. And all these supporters as well on the first lap. That's a view. That is a view. Well, I've made it to the pit lane. Um, and everyone's packing up. 
is the start line. Is it 18 on the grid to I can't get anywhere near the Ferrari bit. Crowded is the word. That's what happens when Ferrari win their first race of the season. So how would I sum up Belgium? Very good trip by Thomas Cook. Hotel was lovely. Brilliant Friday. Very sad end to the day Saturday. Sunday was really good. Great result. And I got on the track at the end. What more can you ask for? Thank you, Belgium. Did you come to Spa? Where did you sit? Comment below, guys. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Lots more car content coming. And as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click on subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. If you want us to do a review for you, just click on the About section below and contact us.